गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ जियोग्राफी दैट इज रिसोर्सेज एंड डेवलपमेंट इन दिस चैप्टर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी विल रीड अबाउट रिसोर्सेज व्हाट आर रिसोर्सेज टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेज रिसोर्सेज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रिसोर्सेज consequences of over exploitation of resources why there is a need to conserve our resources sustainable development and some more important resources just like soil just like water we will read in this chapter so let us start this chapter with the topic resource my dear students what is resource to understand this you all have to understand your surroundings all human beings all human beings are surrounded by nature all the time and uh, students nature consists of water land soil plants rocks minerals and etc etc these are called the gift of gifts of nature when these gifts become the utility to human to utilize to uh, fulfill to satisfy their needs these are called resources in simple words you can define resource in such a way anything anything that can fulfill the need of humans anything that can satisfy the new needs of humans are resources resources may be natural resources may be man made my dear students don't forget that it is the human who add value to a resource any sub any substance uh which adds its utility or service to men then it is known as resource so where i think you all can understand what is resource now uh we will classify the resources means we will uh divide the resources on various basis so uh, uh first of all we will classify resources on the basis of origin my dear students on the basis of origin there are mainly two types of resources that is the first one is biotic and the second one is abiotic biotic resources are such resources which are obtained from biosphere um they are obtained from living things just like animals just like plants life stocks uh fisheries these are the example of biotic resource now the second one is a biotic resource a biotic resources are resources which are obtained from non living things just like soil just like uh, rocks just like minerals so i think you can understand that on the basis of origin uh, there are two types of resources and you you can define the both types of resources now uh we will classify the resource on the basis of ex uh, exhaustibility uh, on the basis of exhaustibility there are two types of resources the first one is renewable resources and the second one is non renewable resources my dear students such resources which can be obtained again 
or which can be reproduced again or regenerated again by some mechanical by some chemical by some physical methods are known as renewable resources for example forests solar energy etc etc and the second one is non renewable resources non renewable source resources are such resources which take so long time in the formation in other words you can say that once you we use these resources they are lost uh, their reformation is almost impossible for example petroleum coal oil etc etc so uh, uh, till now we have divided resource on the basis of origin on the basis of exhaustion now uh, the third uh, basis on which we will divide the resources on the basis of ownership on the basis of ownership we can divide the resources into individual resources community resources national resources and international resources the first one is individual resources means the resources which are owned by individual are known as individual resources for example land house flat farm etc etc now the second one is community resource community resources are such resources which are used or which are owned by a group of people of the community again listen carefully what i am saying community resources are such resources which are owned or which are used by a group of people of the community for example forest for example a river pond etc etc now the third one is national resource national resource refers to a nation means all the citizens of the nation can use these resources for example railways for example roadways for example canals and the last one is international resource and there are some international institutions which own and regulate some resources they are called international resources for example oceanic resources so till now we have read about what are resources uh, how can we classify the resources on the basis of origin on the basis of uh, um, exhaustion on the basis of uh, uh, ownership on the and uh, one more uh, classification is left that is on the basis of status of development this topic will be described in next class my dear students in next class we will read about development of uh, resources how people are uh, uh, exploiting the resources by over using and uh, how it is harmful for our coming generation what is sustainable development and why there is a need of sustainable development in modern scenario and uh, some important uh, resources just like soil just like water we will read about this in next class in details till then thank you